for any the question you will say i don't know question you ask him he will tell to us i don't know If you ask, are you playing or uh, what's the? Uh, I don't know. Who is uh, who only is one playing answer, in the eleven? Entire career. I mean, he has never. Uh, he will, he will never say any other reason. There, anyway. Even if he is going who to play, he will not playing? say. I don't know. Are you playing? I don't know. Simple. One answer is there. I don't know. Will he say the same three words to his wife? I don't know. That, that I want to. That we have to say no. I don't know. Check. That I want to check. That we have to say no. We don't know. He's gone for it. It's a six. Uh, I even even off the field, I don't. If you've seen, I've, I've I don't react too much. As a cricketer, you need to soak in that pressure. You cannot uh, let that pressure get to you or react to it. You once you react to it, it's very hard for you to get yourself back into a calm state of mind. Karun, winter of 2016 is over. Um, look forward to the winter of 2019. Make it a bigger one when you can do it once. Or you actually have done it twice, so um, you can do it again and again. Um, and the only thing uh, you should be uh, saying in your head is, "Upna time aayega." After that triple hundred, was there ever a time when you looked into the mirror and said, "Test triple hundred, all in one day, three sessions"? Uh, it's quite unbelie unbelievable because. Uh, you know I, for the first few weeks at least you know i never imagined myself you know doing that for me it was it was an amazing feeling um like you said a couple of times i have looked into the mirror and uh, you know done all those antics uh, but um, but yeah it's it's good to have that um uh, on your back and uh, it's not going to it's going to stay forever and that's something that's it's going to be with me forever now i've gotten over it and now it's just time to move on from it and i've said it in a couple of interviews as well where you know people just kept asking about it and i said you know it's time you guys also moved on from it and you know stopped asking me about it it's just it's time for better things and you know try try and do better in in cricket and you know take each match as uh, a new match you were in such a hurry that day Three sessions, one day of cricket, and you have three hundred runs against your name. Why were you in such a hurry that day? Uh, if you see, I wasn't. Uh, I was batting on seventy one in the morning, and then, you know, by the time uh, tea tea time came, I was close to a two hundred. But then um, there were instructions from the team that I had only uh, a few overs remaining, and you know, I had to get runs quickly. And it just so happened that in those eight overs, I made about fifty, sixty runs, and I got close to. Um, 280. That's when you actually start thinking about it, and to get to 280, you know, Ash was batting with me. He got he got a 50 as well, and he kept you know egging me on. He helped me in that that phase. Then when I got to 280, uh, Jaddu was batting with me, and he said, "Don't let it go now. This opportunity won't come back again." I was still in the state of you know I need to get the runs as quickly as possible for the team. And every time I played a shot, Jaddu used to say, "What are you doing?" Um, Just take your time. The team will wait for you. So he kept reminding me about that, and then uh, I think there was there was like when I was batting on two ninety seven or something, and Jaddu goes for this big shot and he gets out, and I'm like Jaddu, what are you doing now? <laughs> and um, yeah, it was quite funny and you know uh, something something amazing to you know uh, think upon. Did you know that you were in the eleven uh, a day prior? Uh, I, yeah, I did. I did know a day prior. and it must have been a special moment for the mother because little unni is now going to play for india yeah they were really happy me being the squad itself it was a really happy moment for me and then to make my debut was even better my mom was uh, very elated and she couldn't uh, you know media was after the 300 is when the media got to know that they were there in the stadium and they just surrounded them and my mom has never seen such she called me and she said i want to get out of here i'm going from here that was the words she said But was their reaction measured when you met them after the triple hundred? Did they say, "Okay, long way to go," or, or did they say, "Wow, you've arrived"? 
No, they were really happy. They 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 were just jumping with joy. And who did you turn to when you saw that there was no place for you in the, in the eleven, and you travelled to England? You didn't get to play at all. Was there one person you called or spoke to, sort of confided in about how you were feeling? I didn't speak to anyone during the tour. Um, I called up uh, Rahul sir after the tour. Uh, he is he's been someone who's always been there for me. Uh, he's. Uh, someone that I've really gotten close to, and uh, he's someone that I can call at any time if I need anything. My dad keeps calling me and asking, "Why aren't you playing? You should be playing." And then I was like, "You know, it's not my decision to make." You don't seem to have become bitter at all after all these setbacks, which perhaps goes to show how you are mentally and how you look at life. You know, uh, uh, I think there's there's times that you have to move on from, and uh, you can't keep holding on to things. Whatever, yeah, it does stay with you for some time. But then, uh, for you to move on and do do well from there, you have to erase that from your head and you know look forward and look what look at what you can do uh, to improve that or change that. And for me, it's, this season is just about going out there, starting off from scratch, playing the Ranji Trophy, play it like I'm making my debut again in the Ranji Trophy, and try and uh, replicate those. Three continuous hundreds that I got. People say you are what you eat, and by that logic, you cannot be a mallu. I've been told you are a mallu, but you don't eat like a mallu. That, that's what my mom says. That she says I never eat anything that she makes. She hates Japanese cuisine, doesn't she? She does uh, because she just doesn't like the idea of it because. She can't see me eating some raw fish, where where she can cook cook it nicely, and that I'm not eating. He was a premature baby. He was yes. born at eight months, I believe, and yes. he had a few health issues as well. Yes. And both of you have worked so hard to bring him up to a level where he can play competitive sports. So tell me about those days. At the age of three, he was having that uh, problem. Breathing. Breathing problem. <clears throat> so, when he falls to... down or something, you know, he gets uh, suddenly. To uh, three years. Initially, we were yeah. after three years, four years, he would yeah, could get he, all right. Yeah, But give did. him some. Uh, Extensive, you know, sports. Any serious sports, not this uh, cricket not or like anything. Not like this cricket. So make him to play. That's all. We just thought he used to be interested in cricket. He'd take a small bat and he be beating and here there. So then uh, we thought this is the sport. Okay, we'll try to encourage him there. And uh, slowly took him to the playground nearby, uh, where uh, I felt that he's good enough. I mean, he can play. And then his coach. Uh, then finally, after six months. The coach said he he can do something. I mean, he can be a player or whatever. I mean, future. Karan, do you have memories of those days when your father dragged you to the cricket cricket grounds? No, and... no, he, no never he dragged. Never dragged. <laughs> he was more interested. So morning he used to go about a couple of hours, and again uh, he goes to school. Come, I pick him up and bring him back. He goes to school. He comes back again. Evening uh, two three hours he used to practice there, and again bring him back. This used to continue till about uh, 17 18 years. I used to take. Pick him up and bring him back. As a child, who would you confide in? If you had a bad day at school or on the ground, would you go to mom? Or would you go to dad? No, I never went. Only sister. <laughs> Whatever he uh, has something to sister only, not us with us. He he doesn't seem to express his emotions much. He always seems to keep things within. But what's that one thing he gets emotional about at home? Does he ever get emotional? <laughs> As far as I know, not much except uh, when I say about his game something. <laughs> he doesn't like any comparing with another boy. Suppose he's a uh, guy who scores a century and then comes back, then ask him, see, you could also. No, 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 don't do that. Because he is my as a friend and a colleague. He, he needs to score for the team. That's more important. Let him score. Every child is asked who's strict at home, dad or mom. But his friends tell me that he's a strict son for both of you. Is he very strict at home with you? <laughs> He is going out now. He won't call us. Yeah, that one part uh, we <laughs> always very, felt very even today. He, he, won't he call never us. calls. We have to call him. Don't so, you agree with their their complaint? Their grouse? Yeah, just 
It's I think recently the same, started. Uh, they can. I have always said they can call me, right? And whatever we message, he will reply. That immediately yeah, he'll give a reply. What What else would you change about him and his the way he lives life? Is he very messy? Is he very no? No, 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 no. Is no. that way? Is very neat. We are if sometimes we feel that uh, we are not up to him. I mean, <laughs> what's the one point of debate at home? The one thing that keeps getting discussed very often. Communication is very, very, very less. <laughs> no, basically the reason is hardly is here first thing, and whenever he's here, also mostly he's busy with the. Cricket. I will cricket. He will sit there. Other way go or there. And we don't or know. Cricket, he'll be he's watching. there or not. <laughs> so. We do not disturb him. Also, that's another thing because he's concentrating on certain things and uh, don't yeah, want to that disturb we him. Yeah, did. We did that mistake because we make him free for his um, this one game. Now I am feeling I made mistake. I have to trouble him. Then only he has to come to our side. No, he is not at all bothered about us. What is the one thing you scold them for? You get really upset. Don't trouble me. Get grumpy at home about something. Right. When they don't pack your bags well, no, they don't. He, he, we are not packing his bag. He only doing everything. We no need. Everything should be there. Should be ready. Like yes, I sir. said, everything will be there. I have yeah. to pack. I keep all bag. the things, whatever is required, ready there. He packs it up and goes. And if something is missing, what happens? Ah, nothing will be missing. Then what happens? Ninety percent, ninety-nine percent, it won't miss because I take care that all his things are ready. One pair of socks is missing. Some shoes not. Won't there. be there. Chance doesn't happen. It will be always there. But rare case, if something is not there, what happens then? Loses his school? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Then both of them don't know where it is. Also, so. <laughs> they say when an Indian youngster plays for the country, it's actually the family that's representing the country. Because in the growing up years, was there a case of uh, not being able to celebrate festivals because he had a game, or not being able to do a late night? Do you have such stories? Yeah, as there well? are a lot of things because he's normally all these birthdays we don't celebrate because he's never here. He is with his friends. Three months before my mother passed away, he won't. He didn't come. He could not come. That sense is he somewhere, no? So he cannot. He only make sacrifices. No, no, he nothing like that. His job. He left his business. Everything for him. No, last week only I got shocked when he is very much uh, like that. Jack. We will make so many things with this jackfruit. If the ripened jackfruit one uh, apple, we will make. So. He brought some jackfruit from somewhere, so I said I will make and give. He helped me to make. First time. Oh, first time. <laughs> I got shocked. That oh, he, knows he knows something. something. <laughs> is he getting ready for matrimonial life? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, is marriage ever discussed? No, I don't think till late we are not discussed. But now yes. <laughs> Lately yes, it was never discussed. Oh, you have someone already. You do, which we initially we never knew about it. But yes, of course, late uh, we have come to know. So uh, we have not uh, gone against it also. So how did you come to know? Did his friends come and say, "Uncle, no, she's no, the no. one"? The sister. sister. <laughs> Everything. Uh, that is the root. That's why you know. You tell the sister, the sister gets approval yes, from the parents. Yeah. Exactly. That's your right. Point. To the point. <laughs> so tell yes. me about your sister's role in your life because she seems to have enabled a lot of things for you. Yeah. She calls herself my second mother. So hmm. she she came uh, this time, you know. December. December she year. came for only this purpose. All the way from Australia. No, no. To Canada. convince us, you know, convince us about his uh, program. When was the last time you got emotional in life? Shed a tear, felt sad, lump in your throat. Not Maybe today. in England. Ah. Other than that, nothing. No, I think uh, earlier to that also once he had a problem. I mean, I think under 19. Yeah, when I uh, under 19 World Cup, I wasn't there. Let's talk about that magic moment. 300 runs, Chepok, Chennai. How emotional was the mother? Both of us. Time I was watching. I she never, never watches any game. Never used to go to watch his match. Not even in TV also. I am so scared. I am very superstitious. I mean, we both feeling my daughter and myself feeling that we were there. He won't play. Rani Trophy one match was going on the TV. I was in the school. I came back four o'clock. He was in ninety one. I end up the pay. <laughs> the IPL auction. The whole of this area knew how Karun Nair's mother reacted when he became a Karunpati. 
No, there were happy moments. Because earlier it was, uh, he was in Rajasthan Royals, he, that was 75 lakhs. Or. Then it changed to 4 crore means such can't a imagine, big... No. I mean, we, we can't never, imagine. We no. can't even We are not think expecting about it. also. I was in that Nimishamba temple. So more than 70 teachers were there. That time I was inside the temple, that time this call has come. Then I told them, you my son become Karavarpati. That's why <laughs> that full teachers now, they came to know all these things. See, we want him to play. That's our main thing, even today. Earlier also, even today. proper test batsman hai na stark se dar lagta hai na rabada se dar lagta hai lekin sinan aur javed se bahut dar lagta hai karun nair ko i mean no one knows that karun is extremely stubborn in nature comes across very sweet in person but from the inside is really stubborn yeah and he will never compliment anyone yeah karun nair complimenting someone is a miracle if he even says you're yeah, looking okay that means i'm looking great that day i can just yeah. confidently <laughs> And even if you're at your best on that particular day and you ask Karun, you'll still feel bad about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, how am I looking? Shit. Absolute shit. But ha has he become more stubborn after the triple hundred saying, now I'm a triple centurion. You listen to me. The transformation of Karun to Karun Naya. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you know he was Karun Naya <laughs> now. So it was very hard for us. He's like, hey, Karun. Karun Naya. <laughs> We are human beings, so we, <laughs> so there's a, there's always a discipline, you know, we always tend to break discipline, where this guy has been a disciplined guy, so 9 o'clock, we might be 9.30, 10, mm -hmm. so for him, he is here at 8.59. <laughs> oh, was he, was he tough to manage? Lots of nakharas and stuff. It was quite easy to manage, but... Uh, I don't think he had much to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he is silent drama. Ah, no, I'm sure there's a what story does, what there. What does that mean? No, yeah, that, 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 no, silent drama is like you don't, uh, you're not loud about it. Like you'll just remain silent and you'll use the thumbs up and you'll this, that, okay. Jasu's part of it. <laughs> oh yeah, is it? And he's a, he's a crazy spy. Crazy spy. Like he will know where you are, who are you with, what are you up to, everything. Even if you've left the city also without his knowledge, he'll know where you've gone. I wouldn't be surprised if he's driving on the back seat, he can read what I'm typing. We tell him he should have joined the CBI, not the Indian team. Now, let's now focus on the food bit. What is his obsession with not sharing food? He seems like a really kind-hearted guy, yeah? like large-hearted. He has enough money to buy you food for the rest of your life. But what's it with Why him? should I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. So, so you're making it sound like it's growing on the trees. Sometimes he says paisa bahut hai, pyar <laughs> It's just that if I want if I'm eating something, I want that whole plate of food for myself. I if I give little bit to someone else, it feels like I have eaten less. Unfinished uh, huh. or uh, I've eat, I've not eaten a proper meal for myself. Huh. So, if they want something, if they want the same thing, they can order another another portion of it, but right? the wife will want to dig in when she comes into the family. Wife is okay, I think. Wife is okay, friends are not. <laughs> they all have to be okay. The, the terms and conditions are set already. Oreo shake share karo ge? Nahin. Nahin karo? Oreo, Oreo shake he doesn't share. So you know where the stubborn thing connects to this now? Uh, no. Yeah. Straight yeah, away. No. Straight away. Terms and conditions applied, all this. The food bit, I think, when he's on a diet, so... He uh, gets over all of his, all his cravings by making us eat. It also makes him feel better that we are getting fatter, so he'll start looking thin. No, he's just extremely pampered at home. That's yeah, that's the problem. So he expects that pampering from us also. Is it true? Pampered at home, yes. Like he wears a shirt, full sleeves, and then he'll be like, okay, fold my sleeves. <laughs> it can't go to that extent. And they'll, they'll fold his sleeves. Who, ask him who packs his bag to any of the tours. Me. Oh, his dad packs his, his dad bag. His dad packs his bags. They've... He's never done. What shit? 
I only pack my bags. I know what to put in. No, they won't know what to put in. Mm. So I only. But everything is kept there okay, for nice. me by them. Acha. It's a quite a task to put those things inside the bag. Yeah. Yeah. I have to choose the right things. No. They'll keep it there, set for you. Everything will be set. Huh. Set is his favorite word. <laughs> everything has to be set. Everything after anything is done. He's like set. <laughs> But that IPL auction must have been fun, no? Like, could you guys mother sing? And I'm going to code it tonight. Like, yeah. We we tried looting him after that, but it still hasn't happened. Our trips are pending. A lot of you know, his 300 trip is pending. Let's make it uh, public now. <laughs> <laughs> The Indian team getting into that that trip is pending. So many trips. I mean, we dreamt of Paris, and he took us to Vienna. Just like that. And drop him on the highway and just leave. Yeah, that is any. Let's just drive his uh, beautiful Mustang. You're not allowed to enter the car. Never. I think I once parked the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> How is Karun Nair likely to be at the age of 55, 60? Still as stubborn? You think he will he will loosen up? No, no. I don't want to know him at 55. <laughs> <laughs> It's only 10, 12 years up now. Another 20, 10, 15 years. Uh, this boy from Kerala. I'm not sure if he's had spicy food, but uh, I want to find out what your spicy quotient is. All set? Yeah. There we go then. Pick one. R R R C B. Daredevils. Kings Eleven. R R. Favorite shot: the straight drive or the scoop shot? Straight drive. <laughs> Rahul Dravid or Anil Kumble? Oh shit. <laughs> Rahul Dravid. Cricket or golf? Cricket. When not playing cricket, golf or tennis? Golf. Worst FIFA player in the Indian cricket circuit. <laughs> Cheteshwar Pujara. Worst. He's actually good, but I just want to take his name. <laughs> Safe name to take. You won't mind. It's too sweet to mind. <laughs> Born in Rajasthan, so Rajasthani food or uh, food from uh, Kerala. Food from Kerala. Bacon and toast or idli appam. <laughs> Bacon and toast. A spin in your fancy Ford Mustang or go karting? Uh, Ford Mustang. Dad or mom? Dad. Chepok or Chinnaswamy? Chinnaswamy. Favorite hiding spot of the Chinnaswamy? Dressing room. One thing you change about Rahul Dravid? Can uh, open out a little more. One thing you change about your life? I wouldn't change anything about my life. If you could script your own future, what would it say? Best batsman in the world. Yeah, even in the rapid fire, you played with a straight bat. Well done. Thank you. Great chatting, and I'm sure there's another triple, maybe a few more triples coming up. Thank you so well, much. Karun Nair is a bit of a an oddity, isn't he? He's, he's a bit of a breath of a of fresh air because in this world where we see so many flashy players, lots of style, tattoos, and you are this simple Malu boy, aren't you? Just trying to be myself, and uh, the only thing that I'm looking to do is play good, good cricket and uh, not to be too extravagant in anything. Uh, but yeah, I've just tried to be myself all my life and uh, not not try to stay humble and stay stay simple. Um, and it's it's working quite nicely for me.